Look everyone, I've got my train whistle. I'm gonna give it a try. Do you have your train whistles? Well, go get them. All aboard, let's explore trains this week. I'm very excited. Train whistle, I hope you've got one. Well, when I was trying to learn about trains so we could have train week, I had some questions about what were some things on the train, um, who drives the train, who takes care of the tickets, and I found a really great video about being a train conductor. So I gave you that link. I hope you'll check that out to learn a little bit more. And then I went on the library's website which I hope maybe you're gonna do or have done this summer. And I found some great books about trains. So I'm gonna share those with you this week and we'll do some fun art projects and some fun snacks too. So I'm gonna start with this book and it's called Trains. Perfect, that's what we wanted to talk about this week. So it's gonna tell us a little bit about the different things on a train. This was really helpful, I thought. It starts off Let's see, we, it's called a Kingfisher Readers. So that's where it doesn't give us an author, the person that wrote the book, but it's a series. And the first page is whoosh, a train goes by and it goes fast. Trains run on tracks. Yes, a train can go anywhere that there are tracks. Have you seen train tracks when you're driving around? I see lots of them. A train can go across the desert. This is the desert here, very, very dry in the desert, but as long as there's tracks, they can go. A train can go through a mountain. Have you ever been traveling and you've seen train tracks going right through the mountain? Or maybe a road that went through the mountain? A train can go over a bridge. A train can go into a tunnel. Is coming out very dark inside the tunnel. A train can go underground. A train can travel under city streets. Maybe if you've been to a big city, you maybe have seen that when you're driving by. Rumble, rumble, a train is coming. Its wheels turn very fast on the tracks. Then the wheels turn slower and slower and the train slows down. Then the wheels stop. The train is here. What does a train carry? I thought that was an important question. I see trains all the time and I see different cars on the train. I wonder what's inside. Here it says it can carry coal. So there's the coal. It can carry oil and it can carry mail. A train can carry people. It can take them far from home. So people getting on a train. Have you ever been on a train ride before? I had a long, long time ago. They're very fun. A train can have many cars. Some cars are where people sit. Other cars are where people can eat. Some trains have cars where people can sleep. Could you sleep on a moving train? What do you think? It would be calming, relaxing. Every train has an engine. The engine makes the train move. The engine is in the first car of the train and that car 
is called the locomotive. We've got an engine in the locomotive. The engineer rides in the locomotive and he drives the train. So the engineer drives the train and a conductor rides in the cars. He takes tickets and tells people where the train will stop next. Whoosh! Would you like to go on a train ride? I would. And maybe sometimes if you haven't already, I know maybe at the railroad museum, someday they will get their trains up and going and maybe you could take a visit there and go on a train ride at the museum. Well, the next story we're gonna read is a Thomas story. And it's called Stuck in the Mud. I know everybody loves Thomas. It says it's based on the series by Reverend Audrey and it's illustrated by Richard Courtney. So the illustrator is the person that drew the pictures. Click, clack, click, clack. Thomas puffs down the track. Hey, we just learned that all trains go on tracks. Looks like he's going over some water there too. Do you see that? Thomas finds an old engine. Hero is broken. It's the old engine. Will he be sent to the scrapyard? Ah, oh no. What's your prediction? What do you think? might help him. No, Thomas will fix him. Oh, I see a smile on his face. He looks pretty happy about that. Uh-oh, here comes Spencer. Oh, they've got a surprise look on their face. Uh-oh. I'm going to tell, said Spencer. Hmm, that's not very nice. Oh, Hero looks sad again. Oh no, Hero needs help. Thomas puffs up to get help. There he goes, he's got, he's the steam engine. I see the steam coming out. I wonder where he's gonna get some help. Click, clack, click, clack. Thomas and Spencer race down the track. <gasps> Who do you think is gonna get there first? What's your mom? Go, Thomas, go. Splat! Spencer falls into the mud. Oh no. Now Thomas must help two engine. He has to help Spencer and Hero. He tells Sir Topham Hat. Clang, clang, bang, bang. <gasps> Hero is fixed. Hooray. Look, look at all the smile. But who will help Spencer? Thomas is too small. Hmm, what do you think? Who's gonna help him? Oh, Hero Will, he huffs and puffs, he pulls Spencer out of the mud. Thank you, says Spencer. Hooray for Hero! That's awesome! Thomas helped Hero, and then Hero was able to help Spencer. I love that. Click, clack, click, clack. All the friends 
steam down the track. Well, I hope you enjoyed our stories for today. I will see you hopefully in a few minutes. Get your conductor art project things ready, and we are going to make our own conductor hats.